Okay, so today I bring you The Retaliator, a absolutely phenomenal ship in Star Citizen. This, ladies and gentlemen, actually is meant to have several uses, but currently the use it only serves is to drop huge bombs on the enemy. And uh, I gotta say, <laughs> it's not really a one-man ship. Uh, there's, actual, there's actually no way of firing any weapons other than missiles or torpedoes I should say unless you're in a turret or something so unless I'm gonna move around the ship uh, there's no way that I can do anything but fire giant missiles uh, I think there's an elevator yes uh, so I had a brief look at this <laughs> last week and I was <laughs> and I was like yes I need to make a video on this doing extreme risk targets uh, but unfortunately, I don't actually have the ability to do those just yet. I can do very high risk targets. I just can't do extreme risk targets. But look at this. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're so good. This ship's really cool as well. It kind of, there's a turret down there. It kind of has like a submarine vibe to it because there's so many small corridors. And for example, on this side, I believe... Hopefully I don't look stupid. The only thing over here, yeah, is the bathroom, right? But to go to the front of the ship, you go on the left side. There's some more, uh, more torpedoes here. Oh, look at them. They're so pretty. Uh, around here, <laughs> you get, um, the way to the bridge, which is also, whoa, that was weird. Uh, which is just here, but also turret, and I believe... You have the sleeping quarters. Uh, you got a window there, which is kind of cool. Uh, back here, you got another turret, maybe? Is there a turret? Yes, turret here. And sleeping quarters, and also <laughs> a view of the battle above, if there is one, uh, which is quite cool. So, yeah, here's your sleeping quarters. It's a very small ship in terms of. You know, the amount of stuff you're packing in this ship is is dense. I guess the word correct word was dense. This is a dense ship. There's so little space other than the bare essentials. But, as I said, there are some fantastic modifications uh, in terms of weapons. So, we've got six size nine torpedoes. Size nine. Size nine. Uh, so, that is going to take out most ships in the game. Um, capital ships, probably not. We haven't actually seen much of those. Um, but it's certainly going to do a lot of damage to most of the stuff in the game. So, with that in mind, we are going to take this on a little journey. And, um, yeah, give it a give it a little test drive. I'm going to test it for the first time. Um, also, I will say, it does have a little brother, the Eclipse, which I've already made a video on. If you want to go and see that video, I'll put a card on to it in the top right hand corner of the screen uh but yeah you can see all the turrets so there's one underneath there there's one above i think there's two at the back i don't know if there's two below as well there's one below so yeah there is a lot of turrets and also you can see the torpedoes there my goodness can you imagine if i hit the button <laughs> let me just close those doors <laughs> it's kind of making me nervous um but yeah, it's such a cool looking ship. Obviously, it's got this VTOL mode on right now. Uh, let's put in the landing gear. And press VTOL. So this is what it looks like normally. And its job is to literally drop... Oh, that's tight. Is to drop torpedoes and get the heck out of dodge. That's literally the mission. It's also very hard to maneuver, uh, which was the thing that I learned uh, not too long ago <laughs> when I tested it for the first time. Uh, it really, really, really is not maneuverable. You go in a straight line, fast, and nothing else. So I'm excited to see how we get on with this. Like I say, it's not really ideal for the sort of thing we're doing, uh, but it'll be fun to try some things out and see how we get on. So. I'll meet you, you beautiful people, over at Crusader, where we can hopefully get some cool missions. Okay, so I've got a group high-risk target mission, which means I've got to take out three high-risk targets 
in a certain amount of time. So I think I've got 40 minutes, which honestly, I'm assuming should be fine in this thing. Honestly, like no problem. These size 9 missiles should absolutely, without doubt, take down a target in one hit. The only thing that could go wrong is either I run out of missiles because I've only got six or uh, I end up crashing or uh, they just keep using decoys. But I really don't think that will be the issue here. <laughs> he says. So, uh, yes, let's see how we get on. We're first heading to Daymar, everyone's favorite moon. Actually, let me know in the comment section if Daymar is your favorite moon in this game. And if it isn't, one, why not? And two, what else it else is your favorite moon? Man, that's a tongue twister for some weird reason. But wait, let's do this. I'm very excited to see these size nines get launched at people. Okay, so game plan is really simple. Uh, I'm going to travel towards the target fairly slow. Wait for the lock on. Fire it around f six kilometers away, maybe closer. Uh, only reason being is I want to give them as little time as possible to use decoys and such. Watch the explosion and piece the scene. I don't want to waste expensive missiles on non-targets, right? So, yes, this is all about um, <laughs> being crafty, getting in, blowing stuff up that I need to blow up, and then getting the heck out of dodge. That's the plan. Um, but I'm hoping for a pretty cool light show, if nothing else. So, I'm going to go fast... And then I'm going to put on the speed limiter. Because I don't... Like, basically, I want to give my missiles enough time to lock onto the target. Um, and I don't... Because this, this ship is so immovable and really tough to turn around. I don't want to have to, you know, joust and come back on myself. So, like, preferably we blow them up before we go past them. That might not happen. <laughs> but we'll give it a go. And see what happens. Uh, also, I think the mission here should give us like 40k. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Alright, so we've got a vanguard there. It's usually... Oh, that is what we're looking for. Okay, I'm going to let it finish. There we go. Missile 1 is away. Okay, I think he's switched on to the fact we're here. Is that going to hit? I fired... I, I literally have already broken my rule. I fired that way too soon. That's probably not going to hit him. Unless he's really dumb. Then then he will blow up. Uh, okay, he's firing back at me and I don't think my missile hit. So I'm going to throw this out at like 5k. Damn it! I didn't follow my own rule! Right. Right. I didn't say that, but that was perfect timing. Right, here we go. That should hit him. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay. Right. Now we can go really fast. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Missiles. That was so cool. Right, yeah, now we just get out of here. So we wasted good quality missiles on that guy. Uh, which is kind of annoying. But hey, that's... That's, that's why we bring six and not three, right? Also, that wouldn't have happened if I'd actually followed my rules. So, let's see if I can do better on the next target. Wow, that looks absolutely delightful. Okay, so, what was the rule, Wally? Wait until 5k. Pete, I made a video with the Eclipse, right? I think I mentioned it earlier. And I made a similar rule. It was a little bit less. But people complained in that video saying you really don't need to wait that little. But really you do. Right, I am going too fast here. Oh no, I've missed this. Holy. Right, can I, like, break? Right, Anvil Hurricane. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think it's the Anvil Hurricane here. There he is. Oh my word. That's not locking onto here. Oh, there we go. All right, missile away on our next target. No, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to press this. <laughs> that was cool. All right, I took some damage there because uh, I like flew into the enemy. Maybe they threw a missile at me. But holy, that was so worth it. <laughs> That was such a good explosion. 
All right, see you later, bro. Unfortunately, you were bad at your job at defending your friend, and now he is no more. Well, he's making friends with a size 9 torpedo, which is hilarious. Oh, wait, is that a missile at me? <gasps> Oh my. Okay, the last guy is where? Oh no. <laughs> the last one. Wait, is that selling? Okay, I thought it was in an asteroid field. I was like, no, not in an asteroid field. What the frick? Uh. What? Game? I'm not doing anything right now, in case you're curious. Are we good? You just wanted to do a 360 no scope. I think we're good. That actually worried me. I thought we were going to literally just quantum into the planet. But no. No, no. We're good. Honestly, this is the easiest way to make money. The only thing I will say, the investment is kind of ridiculous. Because the missiles cost a lot of money to restock. So if you're bad at this, <laughs> it can be a loss. <laughs> you're not making any money. Uh, but also, this ship's quite expensive to buy. But I think this mission gets you 40k. This is now the perfect run. Okay. Valkyrie. I don't think it's going to be a Valkyrie. It's usually a Hurricane. It might be the Valkyrie. Oh my word, it is the Valkyrie. Should I do the same again? Kind of want to see it blow up. Sorry for flashing. Oh, I fired it too early, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. Maybe? Let's see. I can't go back to it now, which is really upsetting. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Following the missile. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's gonna go boom. Oh. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, okay. Uh, well, we've got one more missile. Oh, this is bad. That definitely hit that ship, but then <laughs> went through the ship. What gives? I've got one missile to do this. See, this is what I was trying to avoid. Look how bad this is. Also, I am currently just cruise controlling. This has gone terribly. If this one doesn't hit, it's over. Totally over. All right, here we go. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, you're done. Well, I'm going to wait till 5,000. Fire. Time for you to sleep, boy. It's past your bedtime. <laughs> Hell freaking yes! Alright, let's get out of here. I was a little worried then with the catchphrases. Uh, we weren't going to hit that, but <laughs> we nailed it. It's fine. It's all good. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, where's the nearest? Yeah, 39,000. Not bad at all. Right, now one thing I want to try with you guys, and if it doesn't work, I want to make a point of it in the video. Uh, just give me one second, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've loaded up the next mission, which is a very high-risk target, which would be kind of cool. Uh, but obviously, <laughs> one thing we need to do before we go any further is uh, restock on some missiles, right? So, yeah, I've heard... Oh, man, really? Really? Hold up. I just gotta be. I gotta stop here, as you can see. It says halt current velocity. Because this is a guy who wants to stare at me for a few minutes. Hang on. Sorry, guys. I would like to continue this video, but apparently I'm not allowed. Yes, I'm just the average, you know, stealth bomber trying to restock. What? What could I possibly be doing wrong? Alright, anyway, uh, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, uh, I've heard a lot of people saying the missile restocking is a little bit bugged, uh, so I just kind of want to try this for myself and see if it is, because if it is, I'm going to complain about it and CIG are going to hear me complain about it, hopefully. I don't know if they watch my videos, but there's a chance they might, so 
They're going to have to sit and listen to me complain <laughs> if it don't work. Okay, I know it's annoying for you guys, but uh, obstructing air. What are you on about? CIG, you're going to hear me complain about a lot more if you don't sort this out. What's going on? Right. Landing gear deployed. Right, park nicely. Gotta say, that was a nice landing. Right, uh, vehicle loadout. So as you can see, <laughs> this is the thing with this ship, right? You kind of need to get the extreme risk stuff or sort of more higher paying missions because to restock six missiles is 20 grand. Now, assuming we only use three for the three targets and then bouncing the scene, so the perfect run, that's still going to cost you around 10k. So, years. Y you know, you're only going to get like 30k maximum, best case scenario. All right, did that work? It did. All right, CIG, it works. You're fine. Well done. You successfully didn't break on me. Uh, you guys in the comments will have to let me know if that's normal or not. Because I've heard otherwise. <laughs> but I can't complain. Because in the video, it seemed to work. What? i got to go 57 million kilometers away. Alright, well, a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. Where the hell is it, anyway? Microtech. I don't know what people are doing in my ship, but what the heck is all these scratches? Like, what have you been doing in here? What, is, what has been happening? You see that? <laughs> it's like scratch. It looks like my iPhone. It's, it's the screen is scratched so much you can't actually see what's the other side of it anymore. Terrible. Um, I'm doing my old decoupled trick, which is always nice. Trying to save on the old fuel. Ah, it's expensive stuff. <laughs> Economics. <sighs> yeah, this is why I edit the videos. All right, I'm gonna say 30k. We engage engines again. Uh, we're just coming into atmosphere, which is always good. It's good to know. Still here. <laughs> There's still an atmosphere. <laughs> There's still an atmosphere, so that's good. Um, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. The UK is incredibly hot right now, and I'm a little delirious with the heat. Okay. That's my excuse. I don't have an excuse for any other time, but this time, that is my excuse. Alright, I should probably stop aiming towards the planet's surface. That's probably not a great plan. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, we still got 14 kilometers, right? We're only going 300, so... We'll be fine. Got our first target there, Valkyrie. I'm hoping it tells me that's our guy. Mm, usually it takes a little while. Oh, there is that guy. All right. Oh, I did it again. I get so excited. And as soon as I get close, I'm like, as soon as it lets me fire the missile, I'm like, yes, fire. I just wasted money. That's so upsetting. I wasted so much money. That's, that's, I don't know how much, but, but that's a good amount. That's like two grand or something, right? However much it is. Ah. Why did that explode? No, I think it hit the ground, actually. Weird. All right, I need to get a little bit closer. So, remember the rule. 5K. Pull the trigger. Happy days. Kaboom. Everyone goes home a winner. Apart from this guy, who doesn't go home. Because he went boom. This is a weird video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm so sorry. Anyway, let's just... Uh, it's, it's just weird because I can't see the ground. It's kind of tripped me out. Right. 8,000. That's... He's getting further away from it. I just realized. Can you not? There we go. Right. So... In five. Four. Three, two, one, and ready to fire. Should have been longer. Should have been like 10 seconds. And I'm going to hit the fire button. No. All 
Right, that should do it. That's a big kaboom. Surely. That's a big kaboom. Alright. Mission complete. <laughs> oh no, they're firing back at me. No, please don't do that. Back to Microtech I go. Anybody can do this. How much did I get for that, by the way? I'm curious. I don't think I got a lot. Uh, oh no, that was just to like get the missions in the future. That's annoying. Now I've got to go all the way back. All right, guys. Uh, just to show you where I am on the extreme risk targets. Uh, Bounty Hunters Guild. So I'm about halfway through. So I'm going to do this off recording. And then when I can finally... I know you guys have probably already done it like a million times. But when I can finally go up against the hammerheads, I'll, uh, I'll invite you guys in with a video and showcase that. Because uh, I think the missile should work. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>